Hey guys, it's the Old School Modder here, and today in this video, we are going to update our Joe PlayStation from version 4.55 to 5.05 so that we can get some nice newer features and more games uh, compatible without having to do a bunch of work and other things like that. So, we'll get more to those uh, video tutorials later, but as you can see, I'm on 4.55. Okay, guys, so once we're back at the PS4, uh, I'm sorry, not the PS4, back at the computer, you're going to go to Wololo. And you're going to type in Wololo, and you're going to type in how to update to 5.05. And the reason we're doing this is because if you guys want, you can read this post. It'll be a lot easier and quicker for you guys. I'll have the link in the description. It tells you every single step in, in detail um, in written text so you can read it and see with pictures. That way, if I miss something or if you guys miss something, you don't mess up or anything. But the main thing you want to do when you're on this web page is just go down to, um, let's see, right here se.party or you can download it from softpedia drivers at softpedia I'm gonna download it from se party uh, this website has a lot of good stuff so if you want to make an account um, it takes like a day for them to accept you and uh, approve your account and then they have um, resources for like homebrew PKGs payloads and dumps and you know other things like that a lot of good things so this website's definitely useful you definitely want to um, trust this website I'm gonna make another video on what which websites to trust for uh, PlayStation programs and uh, resources and other things like that and like places to download stuff and whatnot and games and everything. So, anyways, uh, scroll down and make sure you are under retail system firmware. You don't want any of these. These are betas. These are being tested. These are decrypted betas and these are decrypted retail firmware. That's for if you're gonna make like your own firmware, mess around, and want to look at the code or something. You just want to go to the retail system firmware and click 5.05. It's going to take you then to this page and you click download. It actually says downloading because it's in a different language, but it's fine. Um, then it should only take a couple minutes. I already have it downloaded. That's why it says one. And then once you download it, uh, go ahead and plug in your USB drive. Right click on it and click format. And make sure you select FAT32 default allocation size name it whatever you want make sure there's at least three gigs available click start click OK it's just letting you know everything's gonna be erased on it and then it'll format it click close once you do all that you will have nothing on here but um, the root of it this is the root so I have currently some files on here but go and delete those so now what you do is you make a new folder and you name it PS4 Go inside that folder, make another one, name it update, and the caps does matter. They have to be in all capitals. Go inside the update folder, and then go over to Windows Explorer and open a new window. Go to downloads, find your download. Here's mine. Drag it over. Make sure it is named PS4 update.pup. On PS3, it was named PS, PS, uh, I think it was named update.pup, and that was it or ps3 update.pub it was an update so that's the difference uh, once you do that and close out of those and then once this is done you can eject your USB and plug it into your ps4 and we will meet back at the ps4 to continue on with the tutorial and install the firmware okay guys so once you're back at the ps4 just go to settings user guide user guide your exploit should load up to 4.55 click on enable updates and it should enable the updates so once you've done that you guys can now update to 5.50 um, sorry not 5.50 5.05 so go ahead and click on home go to settings go to network disable the network connection go to system software update Click next on 5.05, click update, let it copy and do its thing, and it should um, be fine and work.
Okay guys, so it says 5.05 .05 has been installed. That's what we're now on. Here are my fake PKG still. And um, yeah, so I'll have some other videos coming out after this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video just to be sure. I am on it. Um, that looks different. And system, system information, 5.05. .05. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if this video helped out. If you need any extra help, just leave a comment.